So I got this order and they want me to ship it the same day. They just placed the order. I got two hours till the uh, post office closed. And it just so happens I took a day off from work, spend time with my grandson. So I'm home. Normally I wouldn't even be home to pick the order. It's kind of an odd request to ask it after you've placed the order. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be more like, I need, uh, can you ship these as soon as possible? Of course, then you got to wait for somebody to respond. And, um, <laughs> um, they, I'm not going to be, why did they leave one? Why did they leave one piece? And <laughs> I got everything but one, but you know what I'm going to do? This is, uh, This is my store inventory. I'm going to go to drawer 4619. And I'm going to delete it. I'm just going to give, if there's an extra piece. <laughs> All right. And then 8920 is over here. But yeah, it's, uh, I'm pretty fast. I mean, we almost always ship the, the next day. Um, some, and often if the order comes in before noon in my wife's home, they go out the same day, almost always. Um, but, uh, yeah, this one is late. I mean, this, I got the order two hours before the post office closes. Two hours, two hours. Can you get it out today? Um, <laughs> I'm like, maybe... That's the whole order, and I'm not counting it. Now it's all bagged up. I'm double bagging it. I don't trust the seals, so I'm putting tape on it. So 31 minutes after the order was placed, and about nine minutes since I looked at my email, I'm printing the shipping label for this 1,280 plus piece order. And my wife says she would have counted the pieces. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> the flash. All right, let's go to the post office. Bricklink order came from Europe. So 53 minutes after they placed the order, I've marked it as shipped. I've actually gone to the post office and came back home. So I, I, I have no idea of that person that placed that order, which they're only one state away. So there's a chance they could get it in two days. It's priority mail. I don't think there's any chance they'll get it tomorrow. If, I'll look at the tracking later and see if they actually do get it tomorrow, but that would be amazing if they did get it tomorrow. I'm thinking it'll be two days from the time that I, I handed it off to the post office, but it, they can thank Milo, my grandson, for that, because the only reason I was here to pick the order is because I took a day off from work to spend time with my grandson. He was actually asleep, so he'd gone to bed, taken his, his midday nap, and we were just chilling. Uh, I thought about taking a nap myself, and then I just happened to look at the, my email, and I saw, oh, I got an order. And then I saw the note from the order. Now, it's, there's a possibility I would have never saw the note. And being that it's so late in the day, I probably wouldn't uh, have thought about even getting it there to the post office. But it gave me a chance to pick up uh, this order. And unfortunately, it did another, another thing that I'm... I wore this shirt, the Flash shirt, for obvious reasons, because <laughs> uh, I'm super slow. No, it's um, this is one of those shirts that I have worn a lot in a lot of videos in the past. So I was saving my favorite shirts for later in the year, or like some of my favorite. I've already worn some of my favorites, but some of my favorite shirts I was saving. I wasn't going to wear them until December. But I said, for this, the sake of this video, I'll go ahead and wear the Flash shirt. So... Yeah, it's going to be put away into the pile. 
All right, this is from a BrickLink order. And it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tippers. And none of them are broken. It's a, it's a tipper miracle. All right, so this order, uh, yeah, ten tippers. The shipping was six times, six times the uh, price of the tippers. And I thought about it for a long time. He's one of those sellers that they do reveal. You don't, it, 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 when you check out, it doesn't say to be determined, like they got to invoice you. It already put what the shipping was. So I sat there and thought about it, thought about adding other things, didn't find anything. And then I'm like, these are getting harder to find. So I'll go ahead and get the 10 before somebody else gets them. Uh, so now what I need to do is build uh, 10 more tipper trucks. How fast can I do that? So this is my uh, tipper building box. Um, I have the parts mostly sorted. There's the windshields. You got the two by fours, the two by twos. Uh, then parts that I never sorted out from various halls. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump this one out so I can use the unsorted parts. There's a four by 10 plate. I found that I was going through my collection and I found a four by 10 plate the other, the other day. This is, I've mentioned it before, but the four by 10 plate in red, they haven't made since 2020. One day they're gonna sneak it into a set, I have a feeling, in the future. Um, future, uh, but so far for now, they have not. And then I've got the wheels, headlight bricks. I got another tipper bucket I've never built. Headlight bricks here. So, oh, you know what? Oh no, I didn't realize this. We have a problem. So, I got five. Oh, I didn't know I was low on four by tens. I only got five. Oh wait, there's one in this. There's, there's six. I got six. That's the one I found in my collection. So I can build six tippers is all. Hey, I did not realize I had gotten low on the uh, the four by tens. Usually it's the buckets and the windshields that I'm low on. So I definitely I always need more buckets. Well, needs a relative turn. But uh, the four by tens, I mean, I had a, oh, that's the wrong, it's got the wrong wheel on there. I uh, have to, to look closely at these. I try to make sure everything's built correctly and that the wheels are the right wheels, not a dually base with single on it or something like that. But, um, yeah. So anyway, there is six more tippers added to the collection. So I need to finish sorting through these. I got some tippers that I never built from previous hauls, but... Yeah, the 4 by 10 plate. I need about 200 more. <laughs> so at least 200, probably more than that, but it's discontinued. And of all the parts on here for the, uh, the tipper truck, the, the 4 by 10 plate is the most expensive. You wouldn't think that. You would think it's a modern, even there's, but it's a discontinued piece for now, it's out, or out of production piece for now. They don't make it anymore. They could at any day. But the 2 by 4 plate, 2 by 2 plate, uh, the one by two bricks, those are obviously still in production. The headlight brick, out of production, still super cheap. The wheels, super cheap, like 10 cents a piece. The buckets, 50 cents is a good price. Uh, the windshield, 20 cents. So, yeah, and then the one by four red bricks, obviously common. But four by 10 plate, anywhere from 75 cent to over a dollar, usually. Sometimes I can find them less, but to get 200 more, it's going to be tough because there's, I doubt there's sellers that got a lot of them. Uh, but I'm going to go look before I publish this uh, video public. Well, there's five of them. There's one. <laughs> so the world's fastest growing tipper truck army. <laughs> and of all the uh, um, armies out there that people have made out of Lego, this one is 100% built by me. So this, uh, no collaboration has been involved other than people sending me parts. I have had a few people send me the parts for the, the tipper trucks, and I really appreciate their support and just keep in mind i don't mind you buying tipper trucks for your own collection it, i do have the goal of wiping the stock out globally I, I i would love at very least right now the goal has been to get where there's less blue less blue buckets 
available than yellow ones, which is, you know, the blue one was in more sets than the yellow one. But um, there's still more currently for sale of blue than yellow. And every time I buy one or two or more lots, it's just like, it seems like another few pop up. So, I mean, I'm glad people are adding them because I am trying to get to my goal of 2048 uh, tipper trucks, which I'm didn't need over 200. <laughs> Uh, yes, I mean, I definitely need more than 200 um, 4x10s, but yeah, it's a fun challenge. It, it is getting harder and harder to get these parts, but it's still possible. And if you wanted to get just one for yourself, it's completely feasible. You can do it for under $20. I don't want to pay that much. And I was thinking as I was coming back home, if I was to sell my tipper trucks for $10 each, which is actually a fair price. I mean, when I, back in late 90s, uh, when I wanted to replace my damaged copy of it with a newer one or better condition one, I paid $10 for it. Actually, I think I've told the story before. I was going to pay $10 for it, but the person gave it to me. They ended up giving it to me because I told them it was my first set. Now, now 25 years later, 27 years later, whatever it is, now I feel kind of guilty because they gave it to me. Of course, you know what? It, it took like 20 years before I started doing this. So that was my one of my early interactions on online buying, uh, rec.toys.lego. Um, they had a, a marketplace there, and that's where I got some castle sets and some other things, train sets, I think. Not a whole lot of stuff, but the yeah, I bought a tipper truck. I remember it was ten dollars, and they yeah they ended up giving it to me. And that was back in the days when it would cost like two dollars to ship something. <laughs> it's a lot more expensive to ship things today, but uh, yeah, now we got over eighteen hundred. I have no idea what the number is. Uh, I need to sort the rest of this stuff. I'm not going to bore you with that. But thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for the person who placed that order. That order was a hundred dollars, and every little bit helps. I'm saving all the funds right now. Uh, somebody's made me an offer for a set that I missed. And so I'm trying to build the funds up so that I have the funds to give them uh, to buy buy that. Uh, I've told them to give me a couple of weeks. You know who you are. <laughs> I, I want to have the funds where I can just send it like that without there being a fee and all that. But anyway, thank you uh, very much for watching the world's fastest BrickLink haul delivery or drop off. Yeah, we'll we'll find out. Maybe remind me, maybe I'll do an update to see how fast they actually got it. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you.